Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is our honor to be here to present our research project about stray dog problem. Our topic is an investigation of the stray dog problem in Taipei. What more can be done? As animal rights and welfare are gaining importance as a result, pet and stray animal management has been a very important issue in recent years. One BBC report once criticized that Taiwan do not actively enforce the animal protection law, as that we need to enforce it properly. For our research questions, we have four research questions. For the first one is the standard procedure for the public animal shelter, and the second one is the advancement in terms of humanity. The third one is the NGO activist view on the straight up problem, and the last one is the citizen understanding about the current situation. For our research, we have both qualitative and quantitative. For our qualitative part, we interviewed two organizations. The first one is the Taipei Animal Shelter, also known as TAS, and the second one is the LCA Alive Conservationist Association. For our quantitative part, we hand out 100 questionnaires to 100 participants. For our first research questions, we look into the standard procedure in the public animal shelter, and we do see that we can see that, that TAS do have standard procedures. They, they'll first depart healthy and sick animals. Um, for the healthy animals, they'll see if it's hosted. If it's hosted, they'll return to its owner. But if it's not hosted, they'll give physical check and rehome it. For the sick animal, they'll quarantine it and give medical treatment to cure it. But if it's in severe condition, they'll euthanize it. For our second research question, we can see uh, we look into the advancement in terms of humanity in treating stray dogs. And we can see that TS did increase adoption numbers and they decreased euthanized number. And the good thing is euthanasia is now only used on dogs that are very ill or very old. And uh, for the updated animal protection law, we're aiming to end euthanasia within two years in Taiwan. The third question is NGO views about the straight problems. We interview LCA. According to LCA, Taipei, Tainan, and Yilan have performed better than other cities in handling stray dogs. Even so, there are a lot more can be done to ensure the better shelter environment and to build an animal-friendly Taiwan. In addition, LCA proposed three important concepts. There are responsible pet ownership, adoption in place of buying pet dogs, and TNR. TNR is widely acknowledged in Western countries. It refers to trap, neutered, and returned. LCA believes that TNR can help to monitor the stray dog population. The death research question is citizens' understanding about stray dog problems. We found both TAS and LCA highlight the importance of responsible pet ownership and public education. For responsible pet ownership, the decision to become a pet owner should come after serious planning instead of impulsive purchase. Pet owners should be responsible for their pets and consider the best interest of others. In addition, they should get their pet registered and microchipped. For public education, to create an animal-friendly environment, the public needs to be educated, for instance, to enhance the public's knowledge about the animal protection law, pet registration, adoption, and animal shelters. More importantly, TNR should be promoted. By doing so, we can effectively control the straight up population. In addition to the interview, we also have the questionnaire survey. Through the survey, we found out that most people don't have the general understanding when it comes to our stray dog problem. For instance, as you can see in this figure, less than 10% of the participants know that Taiwan is the first country in Asia to ban dog slaying, while more than 90% of them have no idea regarding this. Take another example, this question concerned with the TNR approach. As illustrated here, only 21% of the people have heard about the concept TNR. However, nearly 80% of the people have no idea about this. To summarize, the present study shows that the public animal shelter in Taipei has great improvements in handling stray dogs. More importantly, euthanasia is no longer the only solution in Taipei. Even so, there is still more to be done to ensure an animal-friendly environment. As the capital city of the country, 
Taipei should act as an example to drive for the best possible ways to improve animal welfare and rights. Also, responsible pet ownership, adoption, and TNR should be promoted in the future. Due to the limited time and resources, we based our study on the Taipei city. To thoroughly understand the current trade of problems we are facing in Taiwan, future studies should be examined in other cities. We want to thank the TAS and LCA for kindly accepting our interview and the individual participants who filled out our questionnaires. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.